Xiaomi recently launched the Xiaomi 12 Pro, its newest flagship. It's a premium phone with a kind of premium price. We already have a review up of this on our website, don't go yet, watch the video first. So I decided, hey, most of the smartphone experience nowadays is the camera. Now let's test this boy against these bad boys. So we have all the major players here, the iPhone 13 Pro Max, the Galaxy S22 Ultra and the Google Pixel 6 Pro. Now before I go on, thanks to Ugreen for sponsoring this video. Stick around till the end to hear about these pretty amazing and quite affordable wireless earbuds. Okay, we've got a lot of scenes to go through, so let's just plow through them. Scene 1. Now this is a signpost type thing and this establishing shot um, gives you a pretty good idea of how each of these cameras treats colors and details. Starting with the Xiaomi 12 Pro, um, it looks a bit soft on the details. Um, I wouldn't say it lacks them, but the Xiaomi dis definitely doesn't like to over sharpen stuff as much as some of the other brands. Also, it's a very vibrant and very warm photo. Compare this to the iPhone 13 Pro, which went entirely the other way. So it looks more detailed, more sharp, more contrasty even, but uh, colors are not as vibrant. And then we have the Galaxy S22 Ultra, which is kind of middle of the road solution. It is colorful, it's a bit colder than the Xiaomi. And then the Pixel 6 Pro does the same as the iPhone 13. Pro with more earthy tones, but all of these uh, handle dynamics and colors in their own way pretty well. Scene 2, we have this graffiti wall here, starting with the Xiaomi. Again, great colors, not so much sharpness in the details, but definitely everything is visible. Then the iPhone, uh, it has a bit more contrast between colors, so um, you can see that the warm colors pop out more than the cold colors, which is pretty cool to see. And then the Galaxy S22 Ultra is the only one who gave us a bit of a magenta sky here instead of um, the blues from the other photos, but still a good photo. And the Pixel is just a bit underexposed, but again, uh, colors pop out uh, on the pixel as well, so that's great. Now, the one thing to take note of here is that I am uh, shooting a dark object with the sun somewhere behind it, so I'm actually shooting into the shadows, and still all of the phones handle dynamics great, the sky is visible. The Xiaomi has this uh, very vibrant scorching red, the iPhone is more subdued, then the Galaxy S22 Ultra is somewhere in the middle, and the Pixel 6 Pro is also subdued like the iPhone in terms of colors, but also the Pixel is um, most underexposed out of all of them, still great photos here. Moving on to scene 4, not many interesting colors here, but it's uh, nice to take a look at the details. The Xiaomi photo here actually looks good, because if you switch to the iPhone 13 Pro shot here, you can see that it kind of over sharpened the grass and the bushes below the statue in a weird manner, and they kind of look jagged. The Galaxy S22 Ultra is a more balanced shot, though a bit underexposed. Now look at the dynamics, all of the cameras here handle dynamics great, but the Pixel 6 Pro actually managed to pull detail out from the shadow that's in the middle of the statue where the rest of the phones left a um, black uh, spot. So good job from the Pixel here. Now here the Xiaomi's tendency to oversaturate colors kind of went a bit overboard. The reds in this picture are a bit too aggressive for my eyes. The iPhone 13 Pro on the other hand goes entirely opposite direction where it looks much more realistic and close to real life. The Galaxy S22 Ultra is somewhere in the middle and I have to say that for this scene this is my favorite picture. And then the Pixel 6 Pro also looks very grounded and earthy like the iPhone. Okay time to test the zooming abilities of this phone. Now the Xiaomi 12 Pro is kind of uh, thin and light for a 2022 flagship which also means though that we didn't have a lot of room for some crazy cameras here so yeah it does have a ultra wide camera and a telephoto camera but the telephoto is only a two times zoom in contrast to this iPhone 13 Pro and the Galaxy S22 Ultra have three times telephoto camera and then the S22 Ultra also has another 10 times telephoto camera and the Pixel 6 Pro has a four times zoom camera. Enough bubbling, let's go. So this is our establishing shot, we will be zooming in on the clock tower in the distance there. At five times the Xiaomi is already kind of looking soft, kind of like it's about to fall apart. It's not a terrible picture, but it's definitely nothing to write home about. Now look at the iPhone 13 Pro photo at fine time zoom. It looks pretty decent and there's some sharpness, some details. You can definitely make out what's going on in this photo. The Galaxy S22 Ultra photo at five times zoom just 
nails it you know it's sharper better colors better dynamics more exposure and looking at the pixel 6 pro photo it's sort of in the same league as the galaxy s22 ultra here maybe slightly underexposed but still we have great details and great colors let's go to the next level 10 times zoom so the xiaomi 12 pro well it's not doing so well at 10 times zoom let's say that it's soft it's falling apart colors are good and exposure is okay i'll give it that now the iphone 13 pro looks sharper cleaner you know it's it's a better picture at 10 times zoom the galaxy s22 ultra absolutely killed it here so yeah you've got sharpness you've got great colors you've got true to life imagery and the pixel 6 pro definitely did not do bad at 10 times zoom now it's not as sharp as the galaxy sure that's fine but still we we can see plenty of detail we can see great great realistic colors here so at 10 times zoom i absolutely give it to the galaxy and the pixel last let's just move to the maximum that the xiaomi can do that's 20 times zoom now the iphone is out of the picture the iphone max is out at 15 times zoom so xiaomi versus the galaxy versus the pixel let's see now the xiaomi you can definitely tell that this is a digital crop is there is no uh, sharpening, no noise reduction. I mean, it's still pretty impressive that it managed to show us what we're taking a picture of. Keep in mind, this is a 20 times zoom that is mostly done digitally by this phone. The Galaxy S22 Ultra absolutely knocked it out of the park again, even though it's a 20 times zoom. Look at all the sharpness, the details. You can see perfectly every brick. And then the Pixel 6 Pro, again, not as sharp as the Galaxy, but definitely a perfectly usable picture. Very impressive for the Pixel team. To remind you, that's a four times lens, which then digitally zooms to up to 20 times. So good job, Pixel. As I previously mentioned, these also have ultra wide cameras, all of them. So I switched to the ultra wide and tried to take some epic shots. There's nothing much to say about it. It looks great on all the shots, though do notice how the Xiaomi is the most vibrant of all of them whereas the iPhone 13 Pro shot looks kind of bland. So here I would say that the Pixel 6 uh, photo is my favorite because it is a bit saturated, but it doesn't go over the top or it doesn't look too boring. For the last test with the ultrawide cameras, I decided to turn them up and shoot directly into the sun, test these phone's HDR features. And first up the Xiaomi 12 Pro, it did excellently now the sky is a bit too blue too vibrant but look at the sun it's not blown out at all you can actually just see a uh, white dot in the sky and that's it and everything in the shaded part of the statue is perfectly visible that's great job from xiaomi 12 pro here the iphone 13 pro blew out the sun and the clouds next to it fine but it also managed to make the details of the statue more visible more lifelike more enticing the galaxy s22 ultra is again middle of the road again fantastic handling of the dynamics and the pixel 6 pro kind of went overboard here there's too much hdr going on it definitely looks fake it looks like i took the photo opened it up in an editor and dialed up the uh, shadows way up so good job i guess but it doesn't look as good as some of the other competitors here moving on from ultra wide cameras let's test the portrait model of these cameras and i have to say i am not super impressed with the xiaomi 12 pro's portrait uh, feature it did manage to uh, separate background okay-ish and also about dynamics there's some weird lights in the background here which got completely burnt out i've got no idea what they are because they're not present in any of the other photos it looks like it was the clouds the iphone 13 pro picture is pretty good uh, you can sort of see the uh, background being cut off around the dog's fur the galaxy s22 ultra portrait here is fantastic great sharpness great color great detail and the subject separation from the background is very very convincing i love it and then the Pixel 6 Pro portrait is also definitely not bad. I like the sharpness and colors in the subject, but again, subject separation around the fur uh, is not great. Let's move on to the selfies. Now, the Xiaomi 12 Pro will have a beautify feature turned on automatically. You have to go in there and turn it off manually. And still, even with it off, you can see that my skin looks a bit too um, smooth, a bit, you know, processed, even though the detail around my beard is very sharp and very present. Otherwise, skin tone is okay, a bit on the yellowish side maybe. 
Now looking at the iPhone 13 Pro photo with the selfie camera, it's more realistic around the wrinkles of my face, it's a more realistic skin tone, it may look a bit more bland and boring, but that's much a more uh, real picture. And then we have the Galaxy S22 Ultra, which is middle of the way, it's a bit more vibrant than the iPhone, I'll give it that, but it's also very fair and honest with the details, so that's probably the best selfie out of this bunch here. And the Pixel 6 Pro looks kind of weird, kind of pinkish, it's a bit underexposed. I mean, it's an okay selfie, not a great one. There's also selfie portrait mode on all of these phones. Again, the Xiaomi uh, 12 Pro did not do great with um the dynamics here as you'll see because the whole sky is blown out but the uh, background is nicely separated from me which I'll give it that again a bit of smoothing going on but it's a much more honest representation of my visage here but moving on to the iPhone 13 Pro better dynamics these clouds in the sky are still a bit uh, blown out but we have a better skin tone closer to reality uh, sharper details around the beard and again great uh, subject separation the Galaxy S22 Ultra has fantastic dynamics here and I would love this picture but for some reason there is a yellow greenish tint all over it and I have no idea why that happened. And then the Pixel 6 Pro is probably my favorite. Yeah it's a bit on the cold side but it looks very very real. Uh, it's a bit uh, saturated so it's got some vibrancy going on. Details around the face are great and in this case I love this selfie the most. Something to uh, note, the Xiaomi doesn't really seem to care if you have night mode turned on or off, the shutter is uh, consistently slow uh, and you'll see the results in the photos in just a bit. Pretty good colors, great exposure from all of the phones. My only complaint is with the iPhone 13 Pro where it went a bit yellowish and a bit uh, blander on colors. You can see this is the Xiaomi uh, 12 Pro night mode off and now night mode on. Almost no difference, right? Because look at that, iPhone 13 Pro, night mode off, pretty dark, night mode on, now that's a picture, right? There's a huge difference. Galaxy S22 Ultra, night mode off, and now night mode on. Again, more light, more colors, uh, sharper details, great work from Ga Galaxy here. And then the Pixel 6 Pro, night mode off, colorful, but a bit dark, night mode on, more exposed, good job. So yeah, that was my point. On the other phones, when you turn night mode off, you get a faster shutter speed and you feel like you have more control. The Xiaomi just doesn't care. For scene 18, let's test the zoom during the night. This is the establishing shot. We're gonna be zooming in on the statue in the middle. Here's the Xiaomi at five times zoom. You can already see that it's giving up. Uh, the iPhone 13 Pro at five times looks surprisingly good, whereas the Galaxy S22 Ultra decided to not turn on its telephoto camera for the five times zoom, so you're looking at a digital crop, which is why it looks so soft and, well, garbled. And then the Pixel 6 Pro at five times zoom is impressively sharp. Uh, colors are as subdued as on the iPhone, so um, they're equals in this test. Moving on to 10 times zoom though, Xiaomi. <laughs> It's almost out of the game. The iPhone 13 Pro at 10 times zoom. You can see a lot of noise reduction going on, but it's still a perfectly visible photo. The Galaxy S22 Ultra at 10 times zoom here decided to actually turn on its secondary 10 times zoom camera, uh, which is why we have so much noise in here. It has a very tiny aperture. And then the Pixel 6 Pro uh, is very underexposed, but probably the best looking. Um, picture here considering the challenging conditions. And then one last time let's go to 20 times zoom, the iPhone is out of the question. So Xiaomi 12 Pro 20 times zoom, you know, it's it's not good, let's just say that, it's not good at all. Uh, then the Galaxy S22 Ultra at 20 times zoom did a lot of noise reduction and a lot of sharpening and I've gotta say this actually looks very impressive here. The Pixel 6 Pro on the other hand on 20 times zoom kind of cleaned up some noise but it was it was proud of its accomplishment the way it is, so it doesn't look so over-processed as the Galaxy Shot does. Here, the Xiaomi 12 Pro kind of went a bit too bonkers with the colors. This green and this red on the horse uh, look a bit alien to me. If you look at the iPhone 13 Pro photo, um, it's much more realistic and uh, it's still perfectly visible with sharp details, nice contrast and uh, dynamics. Then the Galaxy S22 Ultra went a bit to the alien side with the colors, but it's still under control. And then the Pixel 6 Pro, a bit cold, a bit weird looking, but uh, definitely another good photo. I would put this into an editor and maybe add some more contrast or something like that. 
Let's try Portrait of Night. Now the Xiaomi did a, a pretty respectable job. Subject separation is not fantastic. The blur doesn't look too convincing, but the colors and the exposure is uh, nice. The iPhone on the other hand, well, it's a cool photo. It looks like it's something from a film noir. It gave me nothing of the sort in terms of exposure like the other phones here. Though, you know, I kind of like the blur in the background. Now the S22 Ultra on the other hand, great blur in the background, uh, details uh, on the subject look a bit soft, but subject separation. And then the Pixel 6 Pro did a fantastic job here, both in terms of subject separation and exposure, and you have got a great black background blur, so the Pixel 6 takes it here. Time to round up with some selfies in the night. For scene 22, we have myself with night mode on, the Xiaomi 12 Pro smoothened my face way too much here, even though Beautify was off. Colors look okay, a bit on the pinkish side. The iPhone 13 Pro, more realistic, more, on da more down to earth, but uh, for some reason I look like a mixture between an actual photo and a painting. And then the S22 Ultra is much more fair here, though a bit soft on the details and a bit pinkish in skin tone. Pixel 6 Pro got skin tone right, but uh, a bit soft on the details still. I'm fine with this, this is a challenging thing here, um, selfies in the night. So to really put these selfie cameras to the test, one last scene, I decided to go into the darkest spot I could, could find and take photos with night mode off and night mode on. Now check this out, the Xiaomi 12 Pro, night mode off, then night mode on, not a lot of a difference. It is a bit brighter, but it's kind of like I didn't turn night mode on at all. Why would I say this? Well, check out the other phones. The iPhone 13 Pro, night mode off, of course, very dark, not a very good photo. Actually, kind of impressive considering that it was complete darkness. But then, night mode on, wow. Yeah, okay, my face is washed out, we've got some blown out highlights. Uh, it's not a fantastic photo, but considering the uh, environment, it, it's quite impressive. Galaxy S22 Ultra, night mode off, again very dark photo, turn it on. And now that's a really colorful, vibrant, lively photo. And here's the Pixel 6 Pro, night mode off, dark, soft, terrible. And night mode on, pretty impressive. Not as good as the Galaxy, but considering that the Pixel did not use any selfie flash uh, tricks, it's a good photo. Before I go on with this video, let me just thank today's sponsor Ugreen and show you these pretty awesome earbuds. The Ugreen Hytune X6 are truly wireless earbuds with active noise cancellation, massive 10mm drivers for deep immersive bass. And they cost less than 50 bucks if you follow our link and instructions below that is. A single charge gives you 6 hours of battery life on the buds and 20 hours from the case. Plus. The case supports quick charging, so 10 minutes on the wire gives you one hour of playtime. These are great to get for yourself as a backup, as a gift, as anything, especially for the under 50 bucks price tag they have right now. So follow the link below. Thanks to Ugreen for sponsoring this video and let's move on. So in conclusion, can this guy battle the big players on the market? Well. If you're looking for the vanilla camera experience, just point and shoot, it's fine, it can uh, stand its own, but in more niche features like the extra zooming or the portrait mode, it's not great. Perfectly forgivable if it wasn't a thousand dollar phone, I guess. Still, if you're looking for something different and camera is not your focus, the Xiaomi 12 Pro might still be up your alley. Check out the full review. I've been Press. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.